So Lawson, I know you're you're really into building, right? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I do in Minecraft. So I, I think you need to be shown the wonders of the world edit mod. I know you're you're getting pretty good with all the fill commands and stuff, but world edit can do a lot more than that. Always eager to learn. <laughs> um, I, I've never. I mean, I I used world edit one time. I think you know back in like 1937, but it, it's been it's been a, a while since I've used it, and I certainly don't know as much as you. So I'm more yeah. than happy to learn. So my idea for for this video is I'm going to be showing Lawson basically for the first time, like he said. But if you're at home and you want to follow along, you should be able to and kind of pick up the basics of World Edit. So this is like uh, kind of a combo of a fun, entertaining video plus a bit of learning. And hopefully we'll get some more people building because with World Edit, you can really build some amazing things. I learning think. is fun, kids. Learning is fun. <laughs> All right. So if you follow me over here, I have prepared a new zone <laughs> of the lodge of the resort. We've got a okay. teleporter area. We can go back to your mansion from before, or there's this new area, the Walden's World of World Edit Tutorials. Ooh, oh, wow, wow. Come over here. And uh, as you can see, I've prepared four stages. Jeez. And after each section, there's a big challenge time. So this looks like a like lot. <laughs> I swear it's not actually that much. Um, yeah, I think this will be just enough to get you started. All right. Walden's World of World Edit Tutorials phase one slash slash wand. So the idea of world edit is you're wielding a tool and the tool can help you edit things in the world. So type in the chat slash slash wand and it'll give you a wooden ax. Uh, so with the ax, left click position one, right click position two to make a selection. So okay. give that a try. Alrighty, left click position one. All right. And then you can use the command slash slash set block to fill that whole region. Second position. Okay, I see. So first position set. Second position set. Mm. Slash slash set. And then type a block you want to use. And it'll help you auto complete a little bit to help you pick the block. Okay. All right. Perfect. So compared to the fill command, which I know you used a lot in the last episode. The big advantage here is you don't have to like type coordinates everywhere. And the second huge advantage is undo and redo. So you can actually do slash slash undo and it'll set everything back to where it was. So go ahead and try that. That'll work with anything. It's like incredible. It's magic. <laughs> It, for a fill, it might not be super helpful, but when we get over here into cloning, it's extremely helpful. Oh, great heavens. With that, you got your first challenge. So okay. the, ch the challenge is very simple. Build a house, but all you can use is world edit. Only set okay. commands. Just in the middle of the ocean? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I'm world editing now. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, that was the wrong type of grass. Grass block, please. Let us fully build a house. Got you, got you, got you. And I can only use world edit. Yep. Okay. So uh, <clears throat> I can also show you what I just did there is instead of using the right click on a block, you can also use mm -hmm. slash slash POS1, POS2. And mm -hmm. that will pick a position in air. So like this. Gotcha. And then I can set a uh, stone. So that way you don't have to like build a pillar up and like right click. Let's get cracking. Um, do this. Then we'll do this. And then set slash slash set. Okay. That is incredibly <clears throat> fancy. Uh, yeah, got my, my fancy pants on today. Let's see how this works. Interesting. Ooh, okay, that's a great point. So you did set dark oak stairs. So then hit Got the it. bracket, left square brace, and then you can change the options of the stairs like that. This works for any okay. block that has options. So you can do facing uh, and then pick a specific direction and all that other stuff. Do north or south, let's do south. Oh, good, I got lucky. So stairs are probably one of the worst examples for this because it has so many options. 
Yeah. But like redstone torch is probably simpler. You can place it whether it's lit or not lit. That's a very easy example. Oh God, that was, oh, oh God, why did I do that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. I had what no, that why was I selected in your house? Goodness, lost mom, my train of thought. But this is, anyone can do this. Anyone can do this. That's like the whole idea. Mm hmm You can very easily scale this up to just like filling in tens of thousands of blocks at once. And it's basically the exact same. Challenge, like this challenge aside, you do that, you build the sketch, and then you go around and you add all the detail. That's like the idea. For time's sake, I consider that good enough. Yeah, very good. Very good. But yeah, I mean, you pretty much got that down. So at this point, just with that alone, what's your opinion of it versus the fill commands? Oh, uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's better, honestly. It's the fact that you can undo something if you've, you know, made a muck of it is great. So we're already improving, and yet these other sections are just gonna make it even better. So this, these couple things here are what I'm calling like going above and beyond what Phil can do. So you've got the set command, which you already learned. There's walls, which will take your region that you selected and only build walls around it. And then- Oh, that would've been great to know earlier. It would have, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and then there's outline, which does the same thing as walls, but it also adds a top and a bottom, like a roof and a floor. I guess real quick before we move on, let's try out the walls command. Yep, just that simple. An outline? Outline, yeah. So if you look inside, it's hollow. And actually, let's try this out. So I'm gonna put some blocks in the middle and do another mm -hmm. outline command, but with like diamond blocks or something. And let's see if those that gold stays inside. I don't actually know this. Sure. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, okay, that's interesting. So it leaves everything inside alone. And then the other thing that you really should know is expand and contract. So <clears throat> expand is going to take your selection, expand it, make it longer in the direction you're facing. So okay. if I have a selection here and here, I'm facing this way, and then I type slash slash expand, and then like 10, and then set it to dirt again. You'll see that the region was expanded out in the way I was facing. 10. Yep, and that works up, down, left, right, any which way. So- Expand and contract. Got it, okay. What would you like me to do? So my second challenge, we're gonna kind of build up from this into another thing, but this is a stadium. So I want you to first build a basketball court, but this time you don't have to use set commands. You can do whatever you want. And I okay. want you to use the expand and contract commands to make sure that you've got it at a certain resolution. Like if you want it 50 blocks long, yeah. you, know, mm -hmm. you can select one block, expand it 50, and then you know exactly how big it is. Gotcha, all right. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, now I want to expand 15. Uh, let's see if that was south that way, this is gonna need to be. So if you don't put anything in, it'll choose the direction you're facing. Okay. Uh, it says region expanded 210 blocks and but I don't see where it did that. Yeah, so it doesn't actually show you where the region is, but when you set mm. it, you know, obviously then it will become obvious. Okay, I see, so then I would have to set it again. I yeah. see, I got yep, you. Yep, yep. Got it, Perfect. okay. Alrighty. So by the way, I want you to only build one side of a basketball court. Okay. I don't even know what they're called. You're the one who's into basketball. Half, it's a half court. Right, right. Build the half court, and then in the next section, we're gonna learn about copying and pasting. Okay, all right. I could have made this much more uh, test-like, <laughs> mm. which I opted not to do for your sake and mine. Righto, there you go. Cool, not too shabby and world edit helped you do the base, add a little mm -hmm. bit of detail. All right, so this, this is now when world edit gets super crazy. We're in the oh, land no. of copy. There is a command copy, which copies mm -hmm. the area 
inside of the selection based off of where you're standing relative to it. And then when you do paste, it places it in the world at the same orientation as to how you were standing. Correct. You can also rotate it a certain number of degrees or flip it. And then alternatively, there's a stack command, which just takes your selection and then just like copies it at an exact order. All this stuff's a little confusing. We're gonna try out both copy and the stack commands in our challenge time, which is to take this half court, turn it into a whole court, and then we're gonna add bleachers on both sides. Okay. So that's the idea here. Uh, so first, go ahead and select the entire region of the uh, court, and you'll want to include the goal Correct. Uh, up to so these trap I doors. Yeah, so I need to be at least right here. Right here. Position one. Position two. Slash slash copy. So here's where the positioning comes in. It's like stand right here, right at the center, one okay. block behind, and then copy there. Sure. Okay. And then what that's gonna do is when you come over here, you can stand in the middle, look this way, and, and then paste. Okay. And then it's gonna keep that same orientation to paste everything. Bam. Okay. So perfect except for the rotation, right? Correct. So undo that. I believe we would want to flip here. So just run slash slash flip. And then inside of the clipboard, it'll take care of it. And then when you try to paste it again, it should come out flipped in your direction. Oh God. Interesting. So I guess it flips not only the area, but it also flips your position. So I guess with that being said, maybe stand here and copy flip it and then stand around here and then look this other way. Let's try that. Yeah, perfect. All right, so let me see if I can explain this another way. The court is going to appear as it was in front of you over here. Like it, you know, it looks like this, that goal is that far away, it's a little up. When you flip it, stand over here, you look in that same orientation, that goal, is about at the same place, right? So I guess that's the idea here. Does that does that make sense at all? Yeah, no, yeah, I understand. My advice would be if you're trying to clone stuff, just try it and undo if it didn't work. And I, I never get it right in the first try either. So you want me to make some bleachers now? Yes, exactly. So make a small section of bleachers and add a bit of detail. And then what we're gonna do is stack it all the way down. And then hopefully we're going to try that rotate again and put it on the other side. Okay. Good enough for me. Cool. So what I want you to do is select this whole section. Okay. And then stand over here and face in the way you want to clone it. Uh -huh. And then type slash slash stack. Okay. So bam. Oh, I see. So now, but, but it goes even further. You can change that number. Uh, so type slash slash stack and then do like five. I did three, but yeah, yeah, three. Maybe you can do one more. So this wasn't in the notes, um, but I want to try this too. So you'll notice this is a little off, right? Like it's not quite centered. Mm -hmm. So there's another command called move where you can select blocks and just push it. Uh, do you want the post in the middle? Because it's not even. Oh, whatever you want to do. This okay. whole thing isn't even. <laughs> it needs to be moved two blocks to the to the to that way. Okay. So select from uh, the whole region. Okay. And then you can look in the way you want it to go, and then move, gotcha. and then type a number to say the number of blocks. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So it looks like. Did you want to stop it here? Uh, no, I don't know why I did that. I selected it from the front. Yeah, I guess I guess you didn't make it all the way somehow. No matter, just move it again. Okay, so we'll do that. That. Perfect. And also, uh, like, it's probably obvious, but I'll just point out too, looking up and down works as well. All right. 
Very good. So now for the last boss here uh, of the bleachers. Copy it and flip it. Copy and flip it. It doesn't matter where you stand, it just has to be relatively in the same position. Correct. In my opinion, the center is the easiest a lot of the times because then this whole like left or right, which side should I be on, uh, gets a little confusing. A little off. I can move it one block though, that's no big deal. Done. Awesome. So what I love about this so much is like you could imagine, you could add all the detail in the world you want to a little tiny section and then just make it everywhere. All right, so last step here is I want bleachers on the uh, sidelines on this side. Okay. So you're gonna have to do a rotate uh, 90 degrees to make that happen. Little off. It's all good. Mm -hmm. So since it's two blocks off that way, what you can do is just, you know, yeah. stand over two blocks and then paste again. And it should just correct itself. Yeah, super good job here, actually. Thank you. All right. There we go. Oh, cool. Just... Yeah, every side. So yeah, that's pretty much it for World Edit. Uh, this last phase is just a couple little extras that I think, again, just make it even more powerful. Uh, and this, this note right here, is actually my single favorite part of World Edit. That is, every time you use a block, you can also set random percentage values. So watch this. I select here, and then I do slash set 50% dirt, comma 50% cobblestone. Uh, I've seen this. Yep, bam. And you see it automatically, for the whole section, randomly assigns blocks or no blocks. And if you keep, you know, hit T up arrow to reselect again, you can kind of cycle it until you like it. And this can get very granular, like set 10% cobblestone. This is the case I use it a lot. 10% mossy cobblestone and then like 80% stone. And uh, on like a larger area, you'll see it kind of adds like random noise with other mm -hmm. blocks. So I think that's awesome. Uh, you can also generate shapes. So like I can just do slash slash sphere. I don't know, gold block, uh, three, and I've made a sphere of radius three. We're not really gonna go over that in this video, but just know that that stuff exists with this mod. Mm. And then finally, we've got a replace. So if I want to, I've got an area I've already built. Like let's just say I want to replace all of the birch fences with like oak fences. So replace birch fence with uh, oak fence. And then it just does it. And of course you can undo it all. Yeah, I guess for our challenge, what I want you to do is take this basketball court here, which mm -hmm. has a very consistent oak planks floor and add some random elements into the floor to kind of okay. simulate like I don't know, like floor wear or something. The, or the Boston Celtics court. If, if you know, you know. I do not but, know. <laughs> I'm sure that's hilarious. Uh, they've, they've, they're known for having a, uh, it's like a, a patterned court almost. It's like a, it's different, different wood. It's actually really pretty. I'll put a Fun picture fact. up for the fans. Thank you. Thank you very much. So set video. Okay. Just got it. So actually, if you do like you do your slash set and you type in mm -hmm. like 20%, it'll actually yeah. already start to show you your suggestions again. So you still get those. Okay, wow. So let's do... Nice. Uh, 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 MJ. Uh. So yeah, that was the Walden's World of World Edit tutorials, I guess. Uh, this is like all the stuff I think a beginner should know. And all of this stuff is already super powerful. There's even more world that it can do, but if you only knew the stuff from this video, you're gonna be able to do some crazy things in Minecraft. Yeah, Lawson, awesome. what do you think about all this? No, no, I mean, you know, your average Joe like me could learn it. So I mean, that's like, that's not that hard. I mean, I mean, if I can learn it, anybody can. Kobe.